We would be honored if you would join us. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series figure review. We've got the very first figure from Revenge of the Sith in the Black Series, at least in terms of the style packaging. But we've got Darth Sidious. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Uh, this guy, yeah, arrived last week uh, through my work, Kessel Run Heron Collectibles. Um, yeah, came in really, really early, which is always a nice thing. Um, always a bonus when they... They come in a little bit earlier than other retailers, which is which is great. Um, yeah, really thrilled about having this guy. Yeah, um, in terms of the packaging, Revenge of the Sith. Um, yeah, don't know about the color. You know, I thought the whole purpose of this line was to do variations of, of colors and depending on the on the film. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be too much difference between this and you know, a New Hope, the Mandalorian. Um, there's a lot of orange going on, so whether they've whether they've changed that mode of thinking um, and just and just sticking with a couple of different hues of, of color, but uh, yeah, there's a little bio on the back there, nice picture of Mr. Sheev there. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this guy. He's looking pretty good. Yeah, artwork on the side. We won't dwell on the packaging for too long. Let's bust him open and have a look. All right, folks. Here is the uh, the handsome devil himself, Darth Sidious. Yeah, this is a uh, long awaited this this one this version of uh, Palpatine. Yeah, very much long awaited in the Black series, and uh, yeah, personally, I think he's turned out really, really nice. I'm, I'm stoked to have this one added to the uh, added to the collection. He will pair up beautifully with the Yoda that's coming out later later this year with Commander Gree. Uh, first, first go at Yoda in the prequel sort of look. Um, yeah, they'll go great together. Accessory-wise, he comes with his lightning fingers. Nice, sort of rich blue color. I dare say that these are the exact same hands used from the Emperor Palpatine figure. Why change them? Um... Because the Star Killer ones were slightly different, we discovered through through that review process when I did that. So yeah, I dare say these are the same as Emperor Palpatine. A little bit extra. Whether that's from the cat, I don't know. It's fine. And uh, yeah, his lightsaber, which is really nice to see in this scale, looks good. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more gold or bronze to it. Um, it. Seems to be a little bit. I think the sculpt's good. I think maybe just a little bit of extra paint applications could uh, could benefit. But you know, it's got the the sort of the goldish at the end and the gold at the band at the top near the emitter, and for the most part, it's going to be in his hand anyway, so it's fine. Um, if you're clever enough and you get two of these figures, you can uh, you can make this guy a bit of a Clone Wars Darth Sidious and give him his two two lightsabers. Because if you think about it, he does have two lightsabers at one point. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. So yeah, this is a, a nice mixture of soft goods and sort of plastic, softer plastic for the hood. And uh, yeah, I personally think it works pretty well. It's a, it's a pretty good balance, I think, um, given that Hasbro obviously know that they can't nail hoods. <laughs> and this guy is, you know, he, he needs a hood. He needs his hood up. You know, it's based on his look with his duel with Yoda at the end of the film. Um, and after that, I think he sort of goes into a more, more sort of black outfit. Um, there's this one. Yeah, definitely a sort of... A little bit of a sort of a reddish brown, sort of to the robes. He hasn't fully, fully come out as emperor just yet. But yeah, I'd really love to see you know Darth Sidious in his, in his red sort of Palpatine's arrest, 
outfit. But yeah, since the way this has been done, really, really nice. The sort of the extra layering here, you know, with this sort of over the shoulder piece it goes all the way around. Yeah, really nice job tailoring this thing. And yeah, obviously the sort of the stitching down here, good amount of fabric there, the baggy sleeves, the cuffs of the hands, really nicely done. You know, it's not often we get figures with this much sort of soft goods with them. Um, so to find that sort of balance between the two, it's it's done really well. Really, really impressed. Um, yeah, the figure itself, uh, I can't tell where the top of the body is being used from, potentially from the previous Palpatine. The legs and... The sort of the bottom bottom half of the shirt there that's reused from the Luke Skywalker, um, from the Luke and Grogu two pack. So that's basically Luke Skywalker's bottom half. So they've reused that cleverly. You know, it's black. It's already already sculpted, already done. They don't need to retool anything for this guy. And you know, we know the articulation solid, and we'll go through that very very shortly. So I do want to see how these uh, hands pop out, see if they, they're a nice easy swap out. That's a, it is a tight fit, but it can be done. If, you're, if you feel a little bit of extra tension, you, you're not feeling confident, just heat it up with some water, hot water. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. It's a, it's a nice look. It looks good for Sidious, but yeah, no, nah, he's going to be, he's going to be lightsabering on my shelf. And he look good with a couple of Imperial Guards either side of him. A nice red blade looks good. Yeah, the face sculpt looks pretty solid. He's sort of that sort of real sort of pasty, pasty, I've just been electrocuted look in the eyes. Looks good too. We should just see whether it's a, whether it's a head that will be able to be replaced with, you know, potentially one of the uh, Palpatine heads from Return of the Jedi. You know, you can get that real sort of angry one that came with the Deluxe Palpatine from a few years ago. It'd be cool to see if we could switch that out or whether the uh, face colours are the same. You know, skin tones in terms of the neck. See if that may work. I'm not willing to sort of pull the hood off of this one just yet. So it looks like it's... Uh, Attached pretty well. It's not glued to the head, so there's some room for movement. So speaking of movement, let's do some articulation. So we've got a ball joint in the head. We've got a ball joint or a double barbell in the head. There doesn't appear to be any neck. Yes, there is. There's neck articulation. It's sort of tucked away in the sculpt in there somewhere, but it is there. You can sort of just see the neck. Neck moving just enough. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders. It should be, yeah, butterfly joints and stuff in there. Uh, single single ball hinge in the elbows. Swivel with the wrists. Ball hinge in the hands. Up and down. Up and down hinges on both hands. Which is my preferred hinge. Uh, yeah, torso joint at the bottom there. The bottom of the torso. And we have... Ball and sockets at the at the hips, swivels at the top of the thighs, ball hinges in the knees. Ball hinges in the ankles and a rocker joint in the foot. Get some of those wide stances happening. And I'd like to think this could also be, you know, a gateway figure for, you know, the uh, Sith Eternal. Palpatine, and that would be really cool. So we're going to do a peg test. I've got the uh, 
Black Kessel Run stand here. This is just a prototype. We're only selling the white ones at the moment. Uh, we're test driving, test driving the black. So yeah, he, he stands on there nicely. I don't think he's going to need to stand on the shelf, but you know, black stand for a black Sith. Pretty damn good. I'm digging this figure, guys. I'd love to hear what you think. Drop a comment down below. And I'll uh, respond to that as soon as I can. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, Shivy P in the house. So yeah, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. <laughs> Hopefully that's the worst thing to happen this week. But yeah, we'll see you very soon. For more reviews, more videos, more fun, more Star Wars goodness. So yeah, like I said, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you again very soon for some more stuff. Till then, may the force be with you always.